Joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive is EY Global Divestment Leader, Paul Hamas. Good to see you, Paul. Good to see you, Maria. Thank, Thank you so you much for, for joining me. us. Thank Why you. are divestments higher on the list of corporate priorities? Explain a divestment. So I think there's a couple things, Maria. It's a great question. I mean, first of all, a divestment is a sale of assets or a monetization of assets, often that are considered non-core for an organization, a corporation, very often a carve-out. And I think we're seeing a couple things that are really driving that increase because this is really an increase that's nearly double or over double what it was last year, 87% divesting versus 43. Number one is technology. Technology out there, Maria, is, div is, is basically, uh, it's transforming companies' business models, right? In many cases, it's disrupting their business models. So companies are out there, they're conducting their portfolio reviews, they're determining what's core, what's non-core, they're divesting those non-core assets, and they're investing in technology. In our survey, nearly three quarters came forward and said technology is driving divestments. And it's important to understand the impact technology has on your company. Nearly half that do that basically get an increase in their valuation multiple after they close, which is well, outstanding. Which is what they want. The tax, bill, the tax bill last year gave companies incentives for to, to write off uh, old investments or new investments. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing that changing the business strategy as it relates to getting rid of old assets so that some other comp company could take them and write them off right away. And there's also the, the tax laws that relates to bringing back money held overseas. Is that changing these divestment strategies? Well, I mean, look, I mean, the, the corporate tax rate, 35 to 21, to your point, the, the ability to expense these assets that are put into service, uh, the elimination of corporate AMT, the ability to actually bring cash over, uh, less incentive to hold it overseas, these are all going to drive economic growth. And our, our, our respondents in the survey basically came back and said, yeah, these things are going to be a factor, but that's what they are. They're factors. They're not going to be drivers of deal activity. Deals are done for strategic reasons, period. Yeah, but if you have more cash on the balance sheet as a result of the tax plan and you've been wanting to do a certain deal, you're more poised to do it now that you have the money on the on balance Absolutely. sheet. Absolutely. So there's, there's a real connection in terms of this Absolutely. tax plan. Absolutely. It's a factor. It's yeah. always a factor. It will not be a key driver. Now, we're, we're talking about a lot of companies going out and doing a lot of deals right now with capital so cheap and with the tax cuts. You're talking about them divesting. How does this fit together, this idea that yeah. companies want to spin off bad assets, uh, but we're seeing so much deal activity. We've been talking all morning about this uh, Comcast bid for Sky. Well, I mean, if, if you think about it, I mean, some of these assets are orphaned, right? Some of these are, are assets that have not been invested in, possibly because of they've not invested for uh, or, or in, in accordance with investing in technology for that particular business. You know, it, 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 it's time to move forward, right? And people don't divest to shrink. They divest in the end to grow, right? Divestments are a strategic part of your capital agenda. So companies step back and they look at their portfolio, determine the businesses they should be in versus those, those that aren't, and they determine what they're going to do with that capital how much and that's this, driving that activity how much of this though just changes with the ceos that one ceo has a vision for the company and you load up on assets and then another ceo comes in and decides well we don't want to be in this business any longer i think that well you could use ge but arguably with a different ceo other than jeff ml somebody could have run the company that jack welch built you know what else accelerates these divestments are activists Right. And in GE, no you have that as well. Tryon was saying, do this and do that. I mean, obviously, they got in at, what, 30 or something, or 25. It's at 14. But the point is, is when you've got activist investing, which has increased, that's going to put pressure on whether it's a new CEO or current management to do a divestment. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Maria. And that's one of our top five drivers in our study. Mm. And we because activist investment has risen. Now, the activist Absolutely. funds haven't been doing well the last couple of years. So we'll see if that quiets things down. Because uh, maybe they had a good year last year, but the prior two years, I think the activist funds did not uh, perform well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But to your point, I mean, a lot of these divestments will be akin to the corporate strategy that's put into place by the C-suite. That can change with a change in CEOs. We saw a no lot question. of investment in uh, financial institutions after the crisis. What industries and what sectors are you seeing it in now? So I would say we're going to see it in, in four sectors in the coming year, in the coming two years. Life sciences, consumer products and retail, technology, and industrials. Mm -hmm. They're motivated to discard uh, sluggish assets in the portfolio when the stock doesn't move, when shareholders start getting upset. Absolutely. Absolutely. No question. And that will continue.
Well, they, are these red flags, though, of where it, it points to a C-suite and a CEO who doesn't know how to produce organic growth? <laughs> that, mm. that where you have a, an asset or a couple of assets within a, a larger corporation that doesn't perform, and it's because they just you know, they can go out and buy growth, and then they have to turn around and sell it when they can, cannot continue it. Yeah, well, I mean, certainly that can be that can be a factor here. But there are also times when these assets they just can be orphaned, right? Somebody decides that that's not part of the strategic priority that's not core in the business portfolio the, the businesses in question that are being divested just haven't gotten the right level of investment these perhaps. are often companies that made bad decisions in the past so it can we're be. talking about turnaround stories for the most part yeah. well I, you know I, I don't think going forward that a lot of these are necessarily turnaround stories some of them can be I don't disagree with that but I do think some of these companies have changed their strategy as I said some of these assets have been orphaned right there's a focus now on what that new strategy would be and and building up the portfolio in relation to that strategy All right, we will leave it there Paul great to see you great thanks to so see much you. Thank Paul you. Hamas EY